uh, everyone, and here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and today we'll be reviewing a pair of the Viserax from 2005. So on the front of the booklets, see a picture of each set in uh, walking through webs above each metro and the large Bionicle logo, and the names of which, and in this case, Bogarak and Keelarak. So keeping up that kind of tradition of where all the names sound alike, but also get the Lego logo, set number, and yeah. And on the back of which, add for the Bonkle 2 Legends of Metro Nui DVD movie, and little sneak peek hint of number 3 in fall 2005. And add for uh, Lego.com and uh, Lego Club. Add for the three Titan sets from the year and the Toa Hardika sets. Then add for all the Viserax. And then how to launch off the Rituka Spinner and use the Kanoka code on the Rituka Spinner. And then instructions of the combination model and how you fold it into the canister, of course. And then the little story synopsis of the Viserax, just like with the Toa Hordikas. See, which do I start? Probably with this one, Kislarak. So a little common thing with each Viserac, well, just like most of the other years where it was just, you know, same thing, but just different color, different mask, different weapon and everything. So with the back legs, which all they usually have four legs with these uh, back ones that they have often used a lot. It has these three poles, but although in the Hero Factory Invasion from Below series, they made some pieces that are quite similar to them, but with an axle hole in them. Well, got the like flocculin there, but although interesting fact with the Viserax is that some of which had different color schemes and different bits to them, like these two of which have the Vaki limbs and or Rakshi limbs, sorry, but a couple of which did have Vaki limbs and the pair had Metru limbs, of which and then also the Viserac were the first to introduce these. Uh, Three hole uh, limb connectors. There's instead of the like one hole ones, but the black one did have a one of them. But these were the first time using these, which carried into the Toa and Nika and or Paraka and beyond, which kind of helps make the characters longer and taller and all. And as let me move the thing upwards and. For the inner workings of the Vaki uh, waist torso and these like bottom torso bits that are, are exclusive to these sets. That holds one of the little connectors in it and it holds the other limbs. Like in this case, the Toamata limbs. But on a couple other ones, or a couple of which, yeah, do have the, uh, what are they, uh, Borak limbs to them. And what differ differentiates from them are the top uh, head, back head pieces. But if you like push down on the butt area, it makes the pinchers fold in and out because of the rubber band that's in them, which I find quite neat and pretty fun. That is. And as for, but also what differentiates are the. Uh, the teeth like pinchers, which, as for the white ones, of which were often reused with a uh, with one Mindstorms set a few years later, and but also they did often use the various kinds in like the play sets and things, 
and bound to one of the main features of which is the Rituka spinners. Is. Like the other sets at this time, where you can put it on that yellow thing and get a ripcord, which actually, what I forgot to mention in last last Throwback Thursday is the Hordika kind of all came with the uh, great ripcords, but they and most of the other sets came with a uh, black little thing to note. But anyways, it's like put it in there, kind of in its black area, and then just pull that and it flies off. And like the other ones, it can go up to like 50 feet, sort of like the Ninjago Air Jutsu Flyers from 2015 or so, and yeah. And that was about it for that one. And now to the other one, Bogorat. See, consisting of like dark blue and light blue. But, and also back headpiece exclusive and everything. And also different eyes, just like the other uh, Metro characters. And also same stuff as the other Q kind of did. Um, unlike how in the back advertisement, with all of them, they have a bit of differentiate. They kind of differentiate a little. Since, of course, it's probably about when they kind of started to branch off from clone sets and everything. Okay. So on to the final verdict. Overall, the Visorax, which work quite neat, kind of cool sets to have, but also kind of neat to army build and everything. Just like the Vaki and Balrock making hordes and all, even though you can interpret that in the playsets, which I'll review for a Throwback Thursday uh, later on. But yeah. And were these some of your favorite villains of all time? Well, leave in the comments below. And if you guys have good me well, if you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, well, then I say go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video, and thanks for watching.